Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome back to another Asphalt 9 video and the Drive Syndicate 6 has finally begun. I know I'm a bit late to this as usual, but yeah, I've been slowly going through it. This week has been incredibly busy for me. I've done a lot of things in real life, but I also just completed a whole new setup, including a new computer and monitor and that kind of thing. So I had to go through and hack and tosh it so I can run Mac and get all that recording software that I normally use onto it. And now it's finally working. And so far I am absolutely loving it. The performance is great. I'll go into more detail about that in a different video, but I also wanted to let you guys know that over the next three or four days, I will be actually driving up to Big Sur and Monterey for like a little road trip and my Audi TT. Hopefully I'll get some footage and stuff like that to make some sort of video. As with the LA Auto Show, I'm just going to be filming and talking about different things and I'll try to put together a cohesive video, but more than likely it'll just be a mess of some cool shots and me talking into a camera aimlessly, which I think will be fun and hopefully it'll look more beautiful uh, than the LA Auto Show because now I've gotten a chance to get used to that camera, so we'll see. But yeah, I will also make a video next weekend about some tips and tricks for this Drive Syndicate. It's going to be a pretty decent video in my opinion. I worked out a whole script. Hopefully I'll get some different footage and nice editing techniques for that video. So keep an eye out on that if you wanna do your best in this Drive Syndicate. But let's talk about it uh, for now because like I said, it has begun. I'm slowly making my way through it during this busy time. I know a lot of people are already on the second phase, but right now I actually just start up the Praga R1. So yeah, I'm quite a bit behind everyone else, unfortunately, and that'll actually continue because I can't work on it for the next three days. But anyway, this is actually looking quite exciting because one of the cars uh, in this drive syndicate, at least towards the beginning, right after the Bentley uh, Molinor Bacalar is the McLaren 765 LT, which if you know was in the last Drive Syndicate. So what that means is hopefully if you've played the previous Drive Syndicate and got to the point where you unlocked the McLaren, you should actually be able to go through that section pretty easily without spending a lot of Syndicate coins, which is nice because you can save them for the Peugeot. Um, so that is going to be nice. I'll see how it is. Obviously, I haven't gotten there yet, so it's hard for me to say exactly how that will turn out. But if you are familiar with the past like three Drive Syndicates, I believe, this format is very, very similar. Unfortunately, you can't buy coins around this time with tokens like you could in the very first Drive Syndicate. For now, it seems like we will just be getting our normal relay pack so you can buy coins with tokens but beyond that if you're not willing to spend real money it looks like that will be the limit this time around and if i'm being honest i feel like we've all gotten used to that so there's really no harm no foul at least they haven't you know made it any different compared to that i was initially scared because the relay packs didn't show up during the first couple of days but they did announce on twitter that tomorrow i believe the relay packs will be released now i haven't needed to get any of those and more than likely i won't until maybe the bentley mullinor Bacalar or the peugeot 9x8 i'm actually very excited to hopefully unlock that car because if you guys know with the previous update video that i went over the stats on that car are insane the acceleration i believe can go up to 90 at max that is what some people have told me i haven't double checked that but it seems like this car is going to be super nutty for the acceleration which is very fun and the praga r1 is actually pretty decent to drive unfortunately on rough terrain it loses its speed instantly which is kind of annoying but in terms of d-class cars it's honestly not that bad to drive so like i said that's really about the progress that i've gotten so far is just two starring the praga and keep in mind guys for this first section you only need a two-star praga to go forward to the next stage so don't worry about three or four starring it don't waste your coins on that car unless you really want it like i've said throughout asphalt 9 the most important thing is what you personally want if you love that car go ahead and spend your tokens on it don't feel like you have to get every single car or progress the farthest during an event because honestly it's all about your preferences and that's something that i've learned to appreciate uh over the course of this game and maybe just a helpful tip to uh keep everyone less frustrated i guess 
But yeah, let me know how your Drive Syndicate 6 is currently going in the comment section down below. Are you looking forward to any of the cars? Are you going to go for the Bugatti? Let me know, of course. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys later.